Okay. Okay. So hi everyone. Today we're gonna learn something new, which is called data structure. Okay. So first of all, what is data structure? So let's separate it. What is data? So data is like collecting any information, like a grocery list. What what you want to buy? Like if you want to buy apples, bananas. Okay. Now let's talk about structure. So what is structure? It's like ordering things in sequence. Now that's what structure is. Now let's go into data structure. Data structure is really important too, just to tell you. So here I have a list of my friends, like how I told you what data is, okay? These are all my list of friends I have here. Now, what I want to do is print the first name, okay? So I want to print Enver. How do I do that? So we're going to use indexing which we've learned like a long time ago. Okay, friends. And now we use square bracket. So what we're going to do is now write zero because indexing means we start from zero and enver is zero. Okay? So if I remember code. Yeah, see, it writes enver. This is because we start indexing. So zero, one, two, three, and so on. So zero is enver. So that's why it's printing enver. Let's say I want to write enver to Sunil. So to, to the third name. So let's use indexing again, but we're going to use call. And now let's use indexing. So zero, which is enver, one, okay. And now two. So we stop there. Okay? No, we're not going to write two because what happens if I write two? It's going to write a B. I told you this. Two, two minus one is one. So we're not going to write that. We're going to write three. And see what it writes. Enver, Nabeen, and Sunil. So what it's going to do is three minus one, which is two. So it's going to print Enver up to Sunil. So what happens if I put two here? It is going to print Enver and Nabeen. See? So now let's say I want to add like another friend. So let's say I have a list of friends that are going to a picnic tomorrow to Thompson Park. But two more friends say, Hey, Abner, I want to go too. So what I want to do is we use a, a function called a pen, which adds to two friends. So we use a pen. Okay. Oh, a pen, right? And then, oh, yeah. Okay. So a pen. Now, what what name we want to add, okay, is Sion. Sion, okay? I want to add one more, as I said. So let's just copy this, control C and control V. And now we're going to write here, look, okay? So these are the two friends that I want to go. But here's the thing. If I keep on doing this many, many times, so let's say more friends want to go. Like, let's say 10 friends, or let's say like 100 friends want to go. I'm not going to use this thing again and again and again. It's going to take more time, plus it's going to take more of the computer's memory. So what function I'm going to use is called extend. So extend, okay, is like a function, okay, where you can write more than one time, millions of times, okay? A pen, you can only write one, okay? So if I use it, 
can extend, okay? It's not called extended, it's extend. Now we use parentheses and square brackets. And I want to write the list of my friend's name. So I'm just going to write like some letters instead to save more time. Like how I said how we do for the extend function. So, and then there, another name called there, and now we have another one. So we're just gonna write three. So let's write here G, okay? Now, let's print, oh, no, let's print this, okay? So you're gonna be like confused, so let's just put this as comment, okay? See, it's going to write enter up to that many names. So I'll show you. So Ember, Nabeen, Sunil, Harish, Ganesh, and Sion, Alok, ABC. So, and that much names. So that's what it's going to usually print. Okay? So, like, let me give you one question. Okay, take five items as input. Put them as a grocery list. So first of all, let's put this whole thing in comment, okay, so to not get confused. Okay, so what I said is take five items as input and put them in a grocery list. That's what I want to do. So first of all, let's think about that. Let's take the five items as input. The first one, I, I come, oh, I tongue underscore one, okay, equals in, so we're going to input this, we're not going to use variables, because let's say I want to write any item, so that's what we're going to use, and you have to read the question, like, this question you can read one time, but let's say there's like more bigger, bigger questions. You have to read it multiple times. Okay, so enter your first I don't. I don't use a calling to understand it more, better, okay? And I told you this a long time ago in input. So let's copy this. Control C. Control V underscore two enter your second item. And now, because we want to take five items, here's our another one. Okay, enter your third item. Third item. Now enter your fourth item. Now enter your, now to just like take less time, let's just do this. Enter your fourth item and now control G. Now enter your fifth item. So fifth item. Now let's do this for that one too. Third item. Second item and first item. First item. Okay. Now here is where we started. Now I want to put this in a grocery list. So what do I do? I'm just going to copy this. Control C. Control V. Equals square bracket. Oh, and also underscore. Yes. Square bracket. And I'm going to use variable. Okay, so let's copy this. Control C. 
and our control V. Item one, comma. So item one, comma. Item two, comma. Item three, comma. Item four, comma. I item five, okay? Now let's put this in a grocery list. So print grocery list. So let's copy this. Control C and Control V. Now here. So let's enter our first item. Apple. Apple. Banana. And our third one is milk. And let's say sugar, sugar. Our fifth item can be a fruit, so blueberry. Blue, berry. Enter it. See, it writes the list of all of the things of the grocery list, okay? So thank you, everyone. I hope you like it today about data structure. If you're like still confused, because I know you won't get this for the first time. And I never got it for the first time too. So you can watch my video again if you want, okay? And you can practice it on the computer. You can go on online Python Complier and use it there. And PyCharm, okay? And after that, you, when you keep on practicing, you'll get it. And then just give yourself a question. Okay, so bye everyone. I hope you like it and bye.